Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to AutoX. Staying in line with what we've been showing you on our channel so far, here is another rig. Looking at this straight up, it is a 2007 Chevy, or I'm sorry, GMC Sierra K3500 ambulance. This was built by McCoy Miller, uh, as that's the ambulance builder company on a 2007 3500 GMC 4x4 truck chassis. So the 3500, it's got the dualies in the rear. It's powered by the 6.6 Duramax turbo diesel engine. This is the LBZ generation of Duramax. So for those of you who are familiar with those engines and drivetrains, it's the best of the bunch right before the 08. Emissions requirements changed everything and we had to put def fluid and DPF systems and all that fun stuff not so fun really um, so this is one of the best of the last years 07 before it all changed pre-emissions turbo diesel it's a 4x4 chassis it's powered by the allison six speed transmission which is an oh so great buttery smooth amazing transmission and this one was originally sold by us and uh it was outfitted at the request of a customer she had it completely outfitted built out and now we are offering it for sale in its completed form. It never got used by her, uh, unfortunately, but fortunately for the rest of you, it's now available in its completed built out form. We don't see these too often, fully built out, camperized ambulance, campulance, whatever you wanna call it. Here it is, and I'm gonna walk you guys through this thing here over the next couple of minutes. So let's zoom in here and take a closer look. So right up front, GMC 3500, Allison Duramax, that's the combo you guys want. Looking in the front cab, two seats, power driver seat, clean door carts, power locks, power windows, power mirrors, all the comfort features, cruise control, leather wrapped steering wheel, your Transfer case switch, too high, four high, four low. Now this ambulance originally came out of uh, Wyoming. So it was a one owner ambulance there for a small rural hospital in Wyoming. And I'll just lighten that up. Now we can see everything. So clean ambulance, rust free, 94,000 original miles low hours i forget the hour meter but it's quite low i think around maybe 2000 or so hours which is right in line with that mileage it didn't sit idling for days and days right there you'll see that is the solar charge controller yes we we outfitted this with solar panels because it just needed it uh, kind of completed the build looking around front Spare tire front mounted, custom fabricated here to go on front of that front uh, brush guard there. Nice place for it, so it's not taking up one of your rear storage compartments, which is where it was before, originally. Looking in the passenger side, again, everything is really super clean and tidy on the interior of this ambulance. It really wasn't used up and abused as many of these uh, service vehicles tend to be. Um, this one had an easy life, and that's what you want when you're looking to build on a camper platform for personal and private use. All the original switches, sirens, lights are still retained, still functional. You're not supposed to use those. Those are for private use only on private land. Um, still has the radio, original tape deck, CD, sorry, no tape deck, CD player, and climate control. All that stuff works wonderfully. And... Comes with all some, all sorts of thingies in there, owner's manual, all that good stuff. A uh, little cubby up here. This has, uh, tells you your direction and your outdoor temperature as well. So kind of a premium outfitted cab, not a Spartan one as some of these tend to be just a, a base model. This is not a base model, which is nice. Armrests on the seats, 
all that comfortable stuff. It's super comfortable to drive. We've driven this quite a bit and uh, it's just a pleasure to drive. Plenty of power and plenty of comfort. So that's the front end of business. I'm sure you guys are dying to take a look in the rear. Let me start up the engine for you so you can hear that it's actually a running and driving vehicle. As we're taking this video, it's still for sale. Hopefully we can get this video up in time for you guys to review it if you're looking at purchasing. But let's do that. Um, also, it's got, you know, keyless entry. So that's another convenience that you wouldn't always expect to see on a service vehicle. So let's start that up for you guys. There it is. It really is uh, kind of uh, an uneventful a little diesel. Not little, but it's not loud, it's not obnoxious. Kind of just purrs along. Anyhow, why don't we go around the back and see what's cooking back there. All right. Well, look at all these compartments. You're probably wondering what's in here. I might as well show you. So, big 35 gallon water tank. That's your diesel fuel, auxiliary diesel fuel for your diesel heater instant hot water heater, water pump, shore power right here. This is your back end of your AC-DC fridge. This is your power kill switch. Got a Vanner heavy duty inverter wired uh, to a remote switch on the interior. Lithium ion battery right here and your diesel heater. Front and rear diesel tanks. You get a nice big fuel capacity there. Uh, this is where your propane bottle lives. The only thing that really runs on propane in this rig is your hot water heater and your stove top. All right, so more compartments. This is a very long, goes full height of the ambulance. Storage compartment, great for skis, snowboards, long, long and slender things. And here is another auxiliary storage compartment. There's just some sandbags in there. But you can throw whatever you'd like in there. Another note, these are all lockable, which is fantastic and just super burly and sturdy. Right here, your front passenger side storage compartments, we've got exterior access to your interior shower. This lower one here. As you can see, the shower is this shape, and you guys can use that for showering, inside and outside, rinse off the pups, the kids, whatever. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this build. So right off the bat, heavy duty high traffic mat on your instep here. Stepping in right in front of me is the kitchen. To my right is your shower, which has a shower curtain here, and it's kind of a step down. You would step down in there, rinse off. You could sit there if you wanted, open the door, do it inside, outside, wherever you want. So we'll close this door. Okay, here's your bench slash bed. The way this works is you've got this lower cushion. Like that. And there is your bench. Take a seat on there. Love seat here. Little shelf ledge there. And your kitchen is right there. Right here is a nisotherm. I believe it's the 85 liter fridge. 
larger one. Very nice unit. These things are workhorses, top of the line stuff. And couldn't be more pleased with these. Stainless steel variety. One vent there for your heater and another one there. Looking up, we've got a two burner propane stove top. Under this butcher block, we have an apron sink with your stainless steel faucet. Tile backsplash, it's real tile. It's not stick on. Here are some of your power functions. You have your overheads, so you can switch them on and off in different sections. This is the kitchen area. Turn them all on. Right up here is your exhaust fan. It's a max air fan, bi-directional, multi-speed, with a rain cover so you can run it rain or shine without worrying about the wet coming in. Positioned right over your stove top. Here is the controls for your diesel heater. Uh, we have some other switches here. One is for your water pump, one is for your inverter, which will power your stove because it's electronic ignition. I believe the propane bottle shut off, so that's not gonna ignite, but I just wanted to demonstrate. Up here, some storage into the cab over area, right above your pass-through. This does have a pass-through that's essential. A lot of ambulances do not come with it. It's great for security. This one even has a locking door, which can be used to separate front and rear. Very handy. All right, so what else can I show you? Oh, here's some overhead storage. We've got them all kind of open, but we'll close them up just demonstrate all the hardware on this was repurposed from the original ambulance build or at least most of it was because they use very high quality products and materials when they build these rigs and it's just a shame to let it go to waste so these stainless steel latches are nice this is a hook and another one here um the original to be owner of this wanted to have a swing here so you could open these back doors and just kind of swing. You know, that's a cool idea, so that's why those are there. It never got used for that purpose, but you could use them for whatever you'd like. Here's some more storage. There's also storage underneath underneath this sofa. I'll show you guys that. And then under this side here as well for just whatever you need to store. There's quite a bit of storage. The exterior storage on these ambulance units are really tremendous and amazing. I am just so impressed with it. It's just something that you can't really get with any other rig, whether it's a motorhome, a truck camper, camper van, those lockable exterior storage compartments are so awesome. Just to be able to throw stuff in and out of them and feel like it's secure. These ambulances are built to extremely high standards. They're built to withstand a rollover with an on-road accident. Um, everything is aluminum in the exterior frame and body and box. It's insulated with about this much thick of foam insulation in between those panels. So it's pretty sweet. I'll give you guys a look up front. So that is basically how it all came together. Now this unit is available for sale through us at AutoX. It should be listed on our site if it's still available. And the full gallery of photos, if you want to check it out there, give us a call with any questions. It's sold with a clean title, all that jazz. And it's just such a ready to get up and go rig. Hop in it, throw your family in, throw your 
your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, and the dogs and whatever, and just go because it's it's dialed in and ready. It really doesn't need anything other than a new owner, some fuel in the tank, and send it down the road. So there it is, 2007 GMC 3500 ambulance conversion for sale, available through AutoX. Check us out, AutoX.com. What do you guys think of this camper? Let us know in the comments. Are you digging the interior? Would you use it? Is it too big, too small? I don't know. We'd love to hear your opinion. Always love to read the comments. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. And check us out, as always, on the next one.